if you were to attribute society's excellence to only one word, only one word, what would that word be? You might be thinking technology or maybe money. How about politics? Malcolm Forbes once stated, diversity, the art of thinking independently together. Diversity is essential to the success of our society. And according to Forbes, diversity is what we should attribute to our excellence. The genuine appreciation of diversity in the STEM fields equates to the sustainable success of society. In other words, we need to spice things up. <laughs> By being inclusive in STEM, we allow everyone to be part of a greater change. This is crucial because we need people from all avenues of life to contribute their creativity, their ideas, and their experiences to their own work. By allowing people to converge ideas, society will be more inclusive and there will be a greater representation of every unique individual. So this is what inspired me to talk about diversity. Personally, I am interested in going into the medical field, so I am constantly searching for opportunities to gain exposure. During my junior year, I was awarded a full scholarship to attend a distinguished summer medical academy, which I couldn't afford otherwise. I was shocked to see that I was one of the few minority students among all 40 of us, all 40 of us. It was a cultural shock to me because I come from a very diverse high school, Hoover High, in San Diego's most diverse community, City Heights. I was also surprised to know that the medical field is not much different. It lacks diversity. One of my most important realizations that I made was during my first day. The moment I stepped out of my dad's dusty work truck and made my way over with my chocolate abuelita to greet the students and staff, I realized that no one looked like me. I had to overcome imposter syndrome, which is an individual's internal experience where they feel rejected or a sense of not belonging in a place or a group because they doubt their own capabilities. I began to think that I did not belong there. I felt like an outcast. After I greeted these students, I realized that I did belong there, just like them. In my community, diversity is a value that we continuously foster and embrace because it teaches us to be more open-minded and aware as well as accepting of others. So when I saw that almost every single student was Caucasian, I felt a cultural shock. Throughout the week, I was feeling intimidated, intimidated while interacting with these students, which is so unnatural of me, as you can tell. <laughs> yeah. I was feeling intimidated because of how different we were. Although we shared many similar interests and passions, there were small things that made us very different. For example, the way I spoke English, where I came from, my neighborhood, my parents' jobs, and even my transportation was entirely different. My parents were not doctors and lawyers, and I did not arrive every morning in my new Jeep. Uh, thank you, Dad, for the bus pass. But I began to feel like I did not belong there. I began to doubt myself. After I started seeing these different dif differences, I thought that maybe I was chosen by mistake. Their parents were educated, unlike mine. They spoke very eloquent English. And let me tell you about their previous medical experience. It was exceptional. I did not have the same vocabulary, knowledge, or experiences that they had. After several days of lamenting and thinking that I did not belong there, I told myself that I was good enough. I told myself that I was smart and that I could learn. So I decided to take initiative of my own education. And I decided to make the best out of this program. 
Once I approached the program with a or- more open mind, I began to see that I started making very enriching friendships. The students taught me so much in those two weeks. I was learning about each individual because they were all unique and had their own experiences and ideas to contribute. One girl told me about her experience while going abroad to do public health in the Philippines. Another student taught me what scoliosis was, which is an abnormality in the spine, and told me about how it was to live with that. In return, they wanted to know more about my previous research in Mexico on sea turtle bycatch. This opportunity allowed me to see what other students my age were doing. Our differences no longer seemed obstacles because we were stronger together. It is our responsibility as to develop the next generation of well-rounded leaders. I would hate for another student to feel like they are an imposter. I want them to feel safe, I want them to feel accepted, and I want them to feel that they do belong there. It is important to continue being a steward for diversity because we need to normalize these spaces. By participating in this program, I was able to gain a lot of insight about myself and others because I was open to learning about the perspectives of new people and teaching them about my own. By allowing people to converge ideas from different ethnic groups, backgrounds, languages, we have innovative and unique results. So why is it that we keep on resisting diversity if it only brings positive results? Any successful place should foster and embrace diversity. Those who do not encourage or promote a diverse community are missing out because they do not know what they do not know. So my final words are, diversity is beautiful. Do not resist it, embrace it. Thank you. Thank you.